Hi, it's Will from StarTheCast.com and this is a quick tutorial on how to make a nice little diorama a nice little Hobbit diorama. Just here we go, it is right here. This is Bag End. You know, a cute little Hobbit hole. Um, fun little project. All it is is a piece of foam and some terrain materials. Well, a couple of toothpicks too. Fun and easy project. I'm going to do a few more Hobbit projects um, and I even show you how to you know, improvise terrain, like um, to use uh, pencil shavings to make the nice terrain. So, people always ask me, you know, Will, you work an awful lot, what do you do on your time off? Well, I come to my little hobbit hole on bag end and I take a break, maybe smoke my pipe and think about second breakfast. Uh, thanks for watching my, my uh, video, thanks for subscribing to my channel, leave a comment, give me any ideas, let me know what you think, give a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. So, let's launch into the tutorial on how to make a cute little hobbit diorama. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, I just cut myself a, sir, a disc of foam board. I think it's like eight inches wide. And I cut myself a, a circle of foam. This is two inches thick. You can use just about any kind of foam for this. kind of fun. So I just hot glued it together. See that? We've already got our shape. So I drew some quick lines on it just to show where I was going to make the things. That's the stairway that goes down. That way I could get a general idea of how I was going to trim it. So I used a bunch of tools to trim it. You know, rasp. You can use a rasp, you can use files, you can use sandpaper, hacksaw blades, all kinds of stuff. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Really nice. I love this foam. You know that. I, I use this foam in a lot of things. Once I get it to the rough shape, I use sandpaper to get it down to the better, finer shapes. Now, the actual hobbit hole. I drew that on a piece of uh, cardstock. And then I colored it in with colored pencil. You can see that. Uh, later on, I actually painted it because I wanted it a little more vibrant. Fit it inside. I did a little more trimming. Good to go. We're on our way here. So the basic shape is already done. Now we're going to start to do terrain. Now with terrain and dioramas, you lay down base colors before you put the te textures on. So I did base color green, base color gray for the stairs. You know, just have fun with this. I, I love diorama making. I probably know that. Now, and then once we get the base colors painted, we're going to sprinkle on terrain. This area is like cobblestone steps. So, sprinkling on terrain. I mixed white glue with water about 50-50 to make it really wet. And then I brushed that on the diorama. And this way we can sprinkle on the terrain textures and it'll adhere. It's a nice technique. I'm going to actually be using this uh, diorama in another project. You'll see. So there we go. Sprinkle on the terrain, the turf. This is Woodland Scenics. You can buy this on Amazon, all different kinds of places. Uh, hobby shops, Michaels. Um, Woodland Scenics is the name. And it's mostly green, but, you know, with it, I wanted to change it up. So I have a mixture of another terrain color in another bottle. I'll show you that right now. Apply a little bit more glue. It's like a greenish, brownish, yellowish. Just to change that texture there. You know, fun project. You know, if you make one, be sure to send me a picture. Well, post a YouTube video so we can see it. You know, the movie's coming up. That's why I'm kind of doing, I'm going to do a few Hobbit projects, hopefully. Now a little bit of bushes. That's a thicker turf. You know, I glue those on. Like that, so they stay. And I think I did this whole project in just a few hours. I kind of had the idea, and then I just kind of ran with it. And I, like I said, I'm going to be using this in another project too. You'll see, and you'll see that. So the little cobblestones, thick gray paint, and I made like all those little stones there, going from the doorway to the to the stairs. And I had to work on these a few times, nice and thick, to make them look like stones. Oh, and like I had said, I ended up painting over that paper, because I wasn't happy with the pencil. Anywho, now we're going to do something. I've shown a video on this before. I have a video on how to do this. I'm going to use an electrostatic flocker to give us fluffier standing up grass. You're not going to see it real well in this video, but give you the idea of it. It works with electrostatic. So what you do is you sprinkle over the, the, the terrain like this. It's like long strands. And it, they stand up with electricity, like a static charge. It's nice and fluffy. I love, I love this. 
technique. You know, it's something you might want to think about. You've got to buy a flocker, though. But it's fuzzy there. It's hard to see in this picture, but it's fuzzy. It's really nice. It's got a nice coat. It's like wool. So now I'm going to sprinkle, I believe, flowers. I think I'm going to be sprinkling some flowers on here, yeah. And flowers are little tiny beads of different colors. It's a scenic terrain kind of thing. There's some yellow, some red. And in this picture, you can see the little beads a little better. Some red flowers for the, you know, around the hobbit hole because it's a happy place. We want flowers. And then finally some orange. Uh, a little bit more and this thing is done. Now we need a fence, so I painted, cut and painted toothpicks brown. I have, you know, all kinds of toothpicks. I have round toothpicks, I have flat toothpicks, and then I inserted them in the foam. One beautiful thing about the foam, right? You can use it a lot of different ways. So here we'll speed through this at double speed, I think. And then I actually put ones, horizontal ones, but I don't show that in this video. I don't show putting it. Pieces of toothpick going horizontally across the fence. Okay, now this is the one ring. I, that's kind of why I left that extra there. I wanted it to be like the one ring and I could even put like elven symbols on that. So it's kind of seated in the golden ring. So that's it, it's done. Little flowers, little hobbit hole, bag end, fence and everything. Love this little project, quick and easy and fun. You don't need much for supplies. I, now let me show you a little bit about, if you don't have the green texture material or any texture material, you can use pencil shavings. You know, get them from school, or if you have a pencil sharpener, they're wonderful. You put them in a container, and you mix them with water and paint. See a little water, a little paint, and you can make different colors. You know, stir it up good, let it, but keep stirring it, and then come back to it a little while later, stir it some more. You don't want it to stick to the bottom too much. You want it to, like, be a mass, and then you can crumple or grind up that mass to give yourself some nice terrain. Uh, thanks for watching. Lots more stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com and here on my YouTube channel. How to make, on the top, how to make a waterfall in the middle, um, a sn um, smoke in a changing tree diorama, and on the bottom, that's that electrostatic machine, how to make electrostatic stand-up grass. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment.